Cancer. Welcome to your June reading. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I've got a great reading here for you for the month of June 2021. I'm doing something a little different today. We're going to do a three card spread. Uh, the first card, we're going to talk about your heart, which means your relationships could be with your spouse, with yourself, with others, friendships, any type of relationship, anything that you that you hold close to your heart. And the second card we're going to talk about is your work, what's happening in work and career for June 2021. And the last set of cards we're going to talk about is your luck. Where is good luck coming to you for the month of June? Now, um, I just want to make clear that every reading that I do is intuitive. So it's not only the meaning of the card, it's how I feel about it. I get different feelings from different cards, so that's what I'm trying to share with you. I hope that you can find answers to your questions or guidance or inspiration or just, you know, something positive out of this reading. Or if anything, just that you have fun listening to the cool stuff that's coming for you. Uh, the last one that we're gonna do, the last set of, oops, sorry. The last set of cards we're gonna do is from a new deck that I have. It's an Oracle card. And uh, these are direct messages from Spirit. So from this, I will have to read from a book. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's begin. Cancer, I pre-shuffled all your cards. And the reason I do that, I pre-shuffle, I shuffle, I take them out. When they, when they pop out, I put them on the table. I don't do it on camera because it takes me a while to really connect to your energy. I don't like picking cards out. I like to wait for the cards to pop out while I'm med meditating on it. So just to save time on the video, that's why I do it. But trust me, it took a while and these cards, when they come out, they're really meant for the sign that I'm connecting with. So, Cancer, let's start with your heart reading for the month of June. The card that you got, and again, if this doesn't apply to you or if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and your rising. I'm sure there's something there that's going to click with you. For your heart situation, Cancer, we have the Eight of Cups. Now you may look at this card and I don't know, feel some sort of sadness. That's what I feel from this card. It looks something with sadness. Walking away is the meaning of um, the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, soul searching, you could be, you feel like something is missing in your life with yourself even, with the relationship that you have with yourself or the relationships you have with others. It's like you're looking for something more, something more fulfilling. And what's interesting is, you see the sun and the moon here on this card? We just had an eclipse. So I think these, this um, eclipse triggered something inside you, Cancer. You're a very, um, you're a water sign, so you're very intuitive, right? You're very in touch with your emotions. So I think something triggered you with this eclipse that's making you search for more, go look for more regarding your feelings, your emotions, your relationships, the way you relate to others, the way you relate to your spouse, to your friends. Maybe there's someone in your life that doesn't need to be in your life, whoever that person is, but you've been holding on to them. You know, just out of pity because cancer, you, you know how you are. You, you just wanna help everybody and be good to everybody. But you have to look out for yourself, for your higher self. So this card symbolizes that that's what you're doing right now. You're searching, your soul is searching for something that really fulfills you in this relationship area. Beautiful. There's nothing wrong with search, Cancer. There's absolutely nothing wrong. We all evolve, we all grow, we all leave things behind. Okay, work. You know what's interesting, Cancer? Before I get into all of them, most of your cards are cups. So you being a water sign, right? You're intuitive. You've got a lot of a lot of water, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions coming out in the month of June. Um, it's really good, though. It's really good. Okay, water. We've got the Knight of Cups, another cup sign. Now, uh, um, knights are messengers. Knights are messengers. Knight of Cups is intuitive. 
he's uh, he feels a lot. It's to do. It's something to do with with something you very you feel very close to. So in in the work area, there might be a message coming to you, Cancer. Something that really tugs at your heart. Something that you've been hoping for. Something that you've been wishing for. This message finally comes to you. Whatever it may be, apply it as as you may. Um, uh, but I feel it's something very fulfilling. And what's funny is, oh goodness, I love when cards relate. Okay, so you see the Eight of Cups, he's walking away. And the Knight of Cups, here he comes. Like he's coming to bring you something, Cancer. I don't know what's coming for you, but it's really gonna fulfill you. It's, it's that missing link that you've been looking for. Apply this however, however you think. But I feel like this is something that, that that's really going to fulfill you. This message that's coming in, something with your work, with your career, something you've been hoping for, maybe a promotion, maybe maybe um, an extra extra responsibility that you've really been wanting to do to take over. Something really good's coming. I love that. But now in your luck area, Cancer, this is amazing. Can I be a Cancer this month? Because this is amazing. Okay, your cards just. Every time I do a cancer reading, it just, everything, it's, it's so weird. Everything just clicks. So this one really clicked. Look at this in your luck area, cancer. You've got two amazing cards. You've got the nine of cups and the other one that came out together with it was the six of wands. So again, go back to this card. We go from the eight of cups, searching, soul searching, leaving something behind that doesn't serve you. Walking away to find something better, and what do you come up with? The Nine of Cups, your wish come true. You found that cup that you were looking for, Cancer. Whatever it is you're going in search for, it's coming for you. This is a wish come true. And not only that, Cancer, this brings you victory, because this is a card of victory, Six of Wands, of public recognition, of being on top of it, of success. Whatever it is, Cancer, this is just such an amazing month for you. Isn't this your birthday month? This, this is an amazing card for you. This is the big, uh, at the end, I think at the end, right? It's the beginning of Cancer, yes. So watch out, Cancer, because this is an amazing month for you. You've got victory, you've got dreams coming true, you've got messages that will fulfill you. Wow. Just blow it out of the water, why don't you? Okay, now. For your new cards, for your message from spirits, I'm using the new card, which is Wisdom of the Oracle. Absolutely beautiful. Now, these can be read in the upright or the reversed. If it comes out in the reverse, it's a protection message. And like I told you in the beginning, I don't pick cards. I wait for it to come out. This is pre-shuffled, but I wanted to see you pop out. I wanted to see you how it, to show you how it pops out. Right? Meaning this is the message for cancer that Spirit wants you to hear for June 2021. And they're sticky. They're kind of hard to shuffle yet because it's brand new. I just opened it today. Oh, and they smell so good. But seriously, cancer, your cards, they just like fall together. Whatever it is you're walking away from, it's gonna bring you greater happiness because you're gonna find that extra cup. That extra cup is coming from you. You go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, and then you've got the Knight of Cups bringing you that extra cup, whatever that is. And then you've got victory and success with the uh, Six of Wands. I think everybody wants to be a cancer this month. And you better let me know. Let me know in the comments what it is because now I'm curious, I really wanna know. See, popped out. Put my little Buddha back on. Okay, Cancer. We've got mending. Who got this? I think Gemini got this. Hmm, a lot of mending going on this month of uh, June. Mending, and you see the top is number 52. If you add five plus two, it's seven. And in the major arcana, that is the chariot, which is moving forward with success. I'm going to read it to you because, like I said, this is a direct message from spirit. So, you guys, I can't screw this up. 52. Mending. 
Okay, it says, each time we are hurt, oh my God, this applies so much to this, to the Eight of Cups, wow. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integrating, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal, the pain, the memories, the echoes, the resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Now is the time to set yourself free. I don't know. Don't you feel like this goes with this? Like you're walking away because you need to heal? You need to find a better way? You're mending relationships? You're mending situations? That's beautiful. I hope you loved it because I loved it. This is a beautiful reading. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed so you know when I post new videos. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's, what's happening in your life because I'm really interested now. <laughs> in a good way. Always in a good way with positive vibes, right? Um, if you want to see me do more videos, also leave it in the comments. Let me know. I love doing this. I get so much, so much out of this. So mwah. thank you, Cancer, and you've got a great month ahead of you. Take care.